Hi, I'm Heather O with BizBuzz TV. I'm here at the Fairfield Theatre Company with the new producing artistic director, John Reed. Thanks so much for joining us, John. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And what some of you may or may not know is that John has had a long career working for not-for-profit organizations. So John, what made you want to come to the Fairfield Theatre Company? Besides it being the greatest place to work. That's in, true. You know, <laughs> a fantastic venue, wonderful people, the music is outstanding. I mean, there's really no reason not to. And it's also a mile from home. That's great. And can you tell us about some of your past experiences working in the arts? I've played music professionally since I was a youngster and also worked as an actor. And I worked in the production side in theater. So I've worked in the arts uh, for a very, very long time. So is this kind of a dream come true job for you? Well, everything sort of came together. I mean, with a background in managing nonprofit organizations, a background in music, theater, all the pieces just fell in place. Yeah. And you live in Fairfield too, correct? I do. So what was your experience with the FTC before you got this position? Knew nothing about it whatsoever. Ah. Nothing about it. In fact, I had walked by FTC on the way back and forth to the train going to the city and truthfully I saw something about a theater company but had no idea that this was one of the premier performing arts venues in the region. So now that you're here, what do you think the FTC does for the uh, greater Fairfield community? You know, FTC is really a, an asset to the community. I mean, if you talk to the local businesses, bars, restaurants uh, here in town, they'll all tell you that FTC is, has brought a considerable new business to the area. We have about 35 to 40,000 people a year that come through our doors to see shows. And so these are people who come here, they'll stop for dinner before the show, come to the show afterwards, maybe a nightcap. So it really has been a boon to the community, I think, by any measure. And so far, 2012 season, how are we, how are we doing? Doing pretty good. In fact, uh, the end of uh, March, we have about six or seven shows look like they're going to sell out. That's great. Which will be maybe a new record, I'm not sure. Are there any performances that you're especially looking forward to? They're all great acts, let me start with that. But uh, just, uh, uh, you know, the English Beat is coming back at the end, end of the month, and that show sells out almost immediately. Mm -hmm. The audience, it's great. I saw the English Beat here a few, uh, about a month and a half ago. The audience was on its feet from the first second, and no one sat down in the whole show. So <laughs> Take out those chairs. Take out those chairs. Uh, you know, that it's, it's a thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And uh, the Celtic tenors are coming uh, right a couple of days before St. Patty's Day. Oh, nice. And so if you love Irish music, Celtic music, they're going to be fantastic. And I, I, I just love the mix here, you know. Mm. You know, from reggae, uh, you know, we have Toots of the Maytails are coming, mm -hmm. a reggae band. So just one show after another, all great music, all great performers, and the audience is fantastic. Very, very involved. It is great. There's a breath of different bands that come here, different music, different, different shows. Music, right. And what is your vision for the FTC? Well, the first thing I realized when I came here is I didn't want to break what was working. And right mm -hmm. now we have a wonderful venue. We need to do more shows. Uh, we need to do more shows here, also at the Klein, which is a venue where we host a number of shows in Bridgeport. And uh, we also want to expand some of the genres. Uh, you know, there, there are types of music that may not be as easy to sell tickets for, but they're a service to the community. So Absolutely. as we have more and more shows that we can sell tickets to, we'd like to block out some nights and bring in some nice jazz, mm -hmm. classical. We also, not everyone knows as a nonprofit organization we, that we are very program focused and, and we have an outreach to children called the FTC Saturday Morning Kids Program where we're bringing kids from Bridgeport that are coming here and learning music. Wow. So we'd like to expand some of these types of things. So all in all, more shows, more bands, more music, more types of music, more programs, and we'd also like to think about some short-run theater opportunities as well. Well, that would be wonderful. And John, I know that you are a guitarist, singer, songwriter. When are we going to hear John Reed unplugged? When it's right. When it's right. You know, the first thing I didn't want to do is come and book myself. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But soon. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, John, thank you so much for catching up with us. We really are excited that you're here. And like you said, you'd never heard of the FTC until you started working here. So, we're so now's the time to get the word out. And uh, how would you like to come back and talk to us about what's coming up in the next couple months? Twist my arm. All right, I will. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Love to. Well, make sure you tune into the website to see all the great new shows that are coming here at the Fairfield Theatre Company. I'm Heather Rowe with BizBuzz TV. Have you caught the buzz?